death rate climbs to 18%. No end in sight with the potato blight. Those are just a few of the headlines that you may have seen if you're living in Ireland in the 1830s or 40s. Join us as we take a deeper look at this world-changing event. So what do we got for dinner today, Sean? Just this potato. A potato? Again? I'm sick of potatoes. I want some damn meat. This is our last potato. We can't afford anything else. Oh. Come on! You know what we should do? We should go to America. Land of the free, freedom for Catholics, jobs galore, great place. Sounds like a good deal to me. Anything's better than this crap place we're living in. I'll sell the farm tomorrow, and on Monday we'll leave for the next ship to America. To America. Oh man, I never knew life in America would be so tough. I thought I thought everything was gonna be great. Pretty much sucks here. We're living in a tenement filled with people. Nobody likes us. It's just terrible. Well, don't worry. Soon we'll have enough money to, to get our own place, maybe move out to the country. You could go to school, get a good job. Just don't give up hope, man. Well, I gotta go off to work. Yeah, I'll keep on looking for a job. Get back to work, you white beard. As I always say, can't get a Negro to do it, you get an Irish man. Ha 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 no laughing. That was racist. As you can see, life for the Irish was a challenge. They struggled to achieve many of the things we Americans take for granted. An education, a house, a steady income. But out of these horrible conditions, the Irish would prevail and they'd end up playing a vital part in America's success as a country.